in this tutorial, I will be teaching you multiplication of polynomials. But before that, let's have a short review first. Let us examine this polynomial. Here, we have 4x squared. In this example, 4 is called the numerical coefficient. The numerical coefficient is the number before the variable. x here is the variable. Variable is a letter representation in a polynomial. And 2 is the exponent. Exponents tell how many times you will multiply the base to itself. Usually, it is a small size number at the top right of the variable. Take a look at this example. Another one. Walang numerical coefficient. If you don't see any numerical coefficient, automatic, the numerical coefficient is 1. Okay. 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 Again, if you don't see any numerical coefficient, automatic, the numerical coefficient is 1. Another one. That's right. Just like the numerical coefficient, if you don't see an exponent, the exponent is 1. Again, if you don't see an exponent, the exponent is 1. Okay. Now, I will teach you how to multiply polynomials with the same variable. First, you need to multiply their numerical coefficient. After that, just copy the variable. Then, add their exponents. That's it. Now, all you have to do is arrange your answers. Numerical coefficient first, then the variable, then the exponent. So, 2x squared times 3x cubed is equal to 6x raised to 5. Which is simple as that. Oh my god! Wow! Now, we're going to multiply polynomials with different variables. First step, multiply their numerical coefficients. The numerical coefficient of 2x is 2, and the numerical coefficient of y squared is 1. And then, copy the variables with their respective exponents and put them together. Lastly, arrange your answers. Numerical coefficient first, then the variables together with their exponents. Make sure that the variables are in alphabetical order. Our final answer is 2xy squared. Nice. Now, let's try to multiply one variable to two variable polynomial. In this example, you only need to multiply those who have the same variable, including the numerical coefficient. We need to set aside 0 raised to 4 since it has a different variable. Now, just repeat the process of multiplication of polynomials with the same variable. Then, include 0 raised to 4. Just make sure 
that the variables are in alphabetical order. Our final answer is 9y raised to 6, z raised to 4. Another one. Now, let's multiply 3y squared, z cubed, to 3y raised to 4, z raised to 4. In this example, we just have to multiply those who have the same variables. And then, follow the process of multiplication of polynomials with the same variable. Lastly, put all the answers together. Numerical coefficient first, then the variables in alphabetical order. And that's it! That's how you multiply polynomials. Damn! For you to be familiarized with this topic, answer the following and leave your answers on the comment section.